Good morning, Bones, broadcasting Norwood Stock version. My life is very inhuman. Mm -hmm. I'll remind you I'm a bare bones broadcaster, and I'm also a struggling male of my kind. Always been struggling, will struggle day to die. Don't we try to say you're supposed to smooth out as you get or Well, yeah, unless, let's say I was really smooth, I'd grab something and struggle with it. Today I'm working at my peak right now of smooth. What I would grab is something way over my head and struggle the rest of my life with it. That's what I do with it. <laughs> yep. I ever reach what you call success, expect me to go and grab the sword of that stone and pull it out. You think that would be a struggle? Not so much getting it out, but once you have that sword in your hand, now you're going to struggle the rest of your life. You could pull the sword out of the stone. You picked up struggle. That's all. When you're the victor on the field of death and living with a sword of steel in your hand, you're the master of struggle and you are in the struggle and you shall struggle and expect that and that's all you're going to get and enjoy it and die. Human, planet, everything. That's the quest. That's how it lives. That's its passion. I, well, I'm angry about struggle. I refuse to do it. The main thing I detest is struggle. I detest it. I find it inexcusable. I picked up the sword and I struggle with it? Why? Oh, Oni! This ain't a place of struggle. I shall not do it. I'm smooth. Move. I ain't struggle. How dare I struggle? As I struggle. All my life. And especially at the end. So the children have something to overhear and do. Pick up the task of struggle called generosity and do it. I'm not run away from it. That's the job. To pick up the environment of living, do it, fail, leave, leave the accurate description of it and your genuine, honest understanding out in the open and die. Or talk with the president. Through YouTube. <clears throat> ah. Break down with the president. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Break Down with the President. Hey! It makes American Idol look like the dumbest thing that ever happened. There ain't none of this. And the president would go, please, I got to go pee. <laughs> Make the president pee. That is the name of the broadcast. From laughter. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. President, your pants are wet. Oh, oh, oh. Belly laugh, the president. That's the name of the broadcast. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Billy Laugh, the President of the United States. Now, the contributors are, of course, brought to you by YouTube, all over the globe. We'll start with our favorite contestant, United States. Go ahead, United. Let them have it. And the United States citizen will come on, but then, of course, we have. There are no buts. Every citizen all over the planet, make the President of the United States belly laugh. Bring your bitch. Make the president belly laugh. Oh. oh. Hmm. Kind of like Chewbacca in Star Wars. Oh, oh, oh. Great sense of humor. We've got to have the sense of humor in the president. Of the United States. Don't you agree? It beats justice. Such a the end of the end, 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 the
Let's get down to brass taxes. You want to pay taxes? How about the brass taxes? Your mind. <laughs> well, with the brass taxes of your mind, and the hell with the other taxes, they, you're getting taxes from taxes. Can you get taxes from taxes? When you are living taxes, can you tax that? That's what I want to know. Somebody spent their tax on you. Now, spending their tax on you, can you pay tax on that? This is the question. My eyes are questioning me. Why am I adding sound to my blinking? Because I want you to hear the blinking. That's what the blinking sounds like. Can you hear the blinking? Yeah. <clears throat> well, what do you think? Did you answer the question? Can you pay taxes with taxes? Can you tax, act, tax expenditure and call it tax? What does produce tax surplus? I mean, where you get it? Living? And then what about living? Does that? Where do you acquire the funds for taxation? And you must pay them because you use a currency that requires usury. So you have to pay the tax of the currency. Shashwem, because it's rented. Your tax is really the rental of the usury. You have to pay it. That's the only tax there is. The rest is contributed. And it's a surplus of actually doing business in a very profitable manner. It covers all costs of the benefit of collecting and doing that. Of course, it's all in the reflection. There's no hands-on benefit. It comes by living. It's the reflection of living is benefit. And you never tap that. Do you? That you just trade everywhere. It's for everyone. It sets up the atmosphere that everybody, greatest one among you is a servant of you all, is the benefit of living, not something you tap. Or get from taxes. Taxes is an entirely different situation. Right. It's from accomplishment, not benefit. Benefit doesn't accomplish anything, does it? No. No, that's the reflection of accomplishment. The feeling of contentment is the greatest benefit there is. Feeling of contentment, confidence in living. It doesn't have anything to do with peace, though. The feeling of contentment and confidence has nothing to do with peace. Does it? That's not the right word for that, is it? You wouldn't walk around with a stick and fool with commerce to get it either. Would ya? And terrify already terrified people. Would ya? Could terrify people when they're corner that stupid, don't they? So you wouldn't corner them with a stick and a sign piece. And you wouldn't corner them by blocking commerce. Would ya? That'd be dumb. That'd be provoking a problem. Violence. All kinds of behavior of horrified people and stuff. No, he wouldn't do that. 